Hi guys. Yep, the blue bike has turned into another blue bike. <laughs> Here's the Magna I've been talking about in the last few videos. 15 speed, Magna Oasis. Your frame's in good nick, but again, it just needs a clean up really. I think I could um, steel wool most of the rust off. I've got a couple of lumps of steel wool somewhere. Where's that come from? Ah, it might be the um, fairground that's in town this week. Nope, that could actually be them two people walking past. As it's getting louder, the closer they get. <laughs> anyway, what jobs have I got to do on this one? I'm going to pull the mud guards off. Only because of that, it's broken on that side and it's been held together with a bootleg. Uh, sort that break out as well. It only does it going backwards. <laughs> doesn't do it going forwards. Uh, take his old bike, break it off. Uh, change that stupid bike seat. I believe the gears work. Oh yeah, I've got to put a... Um, Five speed free wheel on the wheel if I can fix the wheel bearings. If I'm not, look at that. Can you see that wobbling? You can probably hear it as well. <laughs> yeah, I think that bearings are gone. <clears throat> um, I have got wheel bearings down in the shed. Um, so I pulled them out of uh, buckled wheels. Hey, the bearings are good, I'll salvage them. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I can do something with that so I ain't got to mess around trying to find a wheel. I do have a wheel. I do actually have a wheel, but it's not the best wheel on the planet, but... At least the bearings are not gone in it. Look at that. You can actually see the wheel moving, look. Uh, reconnect the rear brake as well because uh, I'm going to put it on, it stays on. But it could be because it's not connected. Because there's no spring in the. No, there is, but probably not a very good spring in the um, brake lever. But that's probably nothing. A little bit of oil on the brake cable wouldn't fix anyway. It doesn't mean I'll have to cut that cable end off. Uh. Yeah, so I'm going to rip the mud guards off, rip the light brackets off, and it didn't come with any lights anyway. And uh, oddly enough, they would probably sell on eBay if I stuck them on eBay. So I'll take those off, give it a clean. Uh, the front gear drive you move, so I would assume that would work, so I don't think I'll have to do anything to that. I'm guessing someone had put a different wheel in this at some point, as it's a... I think it's a six-speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. But, uh, I've got a five-speed out on the land. And so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera off, and I'll come back when I've done a bit of work. So, uh, I'll be back. Right. As you can see, no mud guards, no light bracket. Rear brake is back together. Um, change the free wheel on the wheel. Sorted out the wheel bearings. They just needed a bit of a tighten up, believe it or not. Um, so before I've actually adjusted the bearings, I've put some fresh grease in there. But, uh, it's free wheeling pretty well now. Um, so I've got to take this down. Front brake is working fine. It doesn't retract all the way, but it's only like a few mil it's off, so I'll leave that at that. Um, rear one, I pull it on. It's a bit like a handbrake, you pull it on, it stays on. <laughs> so, um, a bit of oil down that outer, and that'll be fine. So I'll take that down and get all that sorted. Rear gears are working perfectly. 
I did have to adjust the um, position screws on the derailleur here so it wouldn't go in there first and that's what the problem was um, I've also found these that I forgot I had and I'm hoping one of these actually I think that one is the throttle ca yeah, not that one it's actually a throttle cable from um, my old Honda Camino I'm hoping um, I can make this brake cable well, I only want the cable, I don't want the outer um, to fit the other bike I've got which is currently out on the landing which I'll bring back in later uh, I'm going to do a bit of work on the Claude Butler while I'm downstairs as well because um, even though I've put brand new well, I think I put brand new cable outer on it and a brand new rear brake cable. The rear brake is starting to um, stick. It's not retracting properly. So I'm going to pull it all off and I've got a brand new outer somewhere rolled up. I had it the other day and I, I actually thought I threw it in that tub over there but it's not in there. That's where I just found those other two cables which is um, ticking me off a bit because I was pretty certain I threw it in that box when I was sorting out the sofa uh, I think it's down here if I you find I've got a pair of these in here I will be pissed off because they're better grip shifts Ooh, hello, here it is I threw it in the wrong box right, so that's got to go down with me and I'll do the um, rear brake on the Claude and fit the front uh, mudguard because I haven't done that yet it's looking a little bit on the odd side with just the uh, rear mudguard on it and because of the rain we've had I keep getting a face full of bloody water which is uh, not nice <laughs> oh and I've got to tighten the um, all the headstock up as well because I'm sort of rocking a far too much back and forth when I hit the brake but, uh, yeah apart from that this thing is nearly done so I'm going to take this camera down with me so I take a photograph it's not perfect but I did clean off most of the rust on there it's more presentable now anyway um, the only problem I've got is that the guy that's interested in it wouldn't be able to pay for it till the weekend um, which isn't really much good to me if I need it, preferably need it gone before then uh, I mustn't forget to take a frame measurement either uh, I don't believe I've got to take anything else down so there's probably I don't know, about a half an hour's work at least between the two bikes. Maybe 45 minutes tops. Uh, I'll get this up on Gumtree later. I'll put it on cheap. I was wanting to ask 34, but I think that's pushing it, to be honest. I think if I got 24, that would be a fairer price. It works. Everything is all working. I've just got to service the rear brake cable so I guarantee once I pull the brake cable out of there and oil the cable and thread it all back in that will work hunky dory um, that doesn't mean I've got to take that bloody bridge off I do hate doing those that's the one thing I hate about these um, cantilever brakes I do hate those bridges uh, yeah, if I remember rightly, I've got two metres of it here, which I bought on eBay. Which, uh, whenever I get some extra spare cash, I'm going to invest in some more, I think. It'd be nice to get a box of it, but I think that might be pushing it. I don't really um, use that much, but I might actually buy a bit more than two metres of it. It'd be interesting to um, actually measure this just to see if the seller did cut me two metres 
because I know that's what they do. They have the box themselves, and then they sell it so much per meter. I think meter is the shortest length you can um, get. Ooh. I may have found another place I can get a brake cable from. So I may not have to buy a uh, brake cable for the blue and yellow bike, the Oscar. I hope. <laughs> It'd be great if I don't. Because then all I have to do is fix that rear puncture and uh, fit the cable and away it goes. It's a bit of a pain because I really could do a sell on that one as well, but I do need to keep one. I'm going to have a lot of choice. So, uh, and I think that Oscar is a much better looking bike than this one. This is just your bulk standard. Rigid frame, mountain bike. There's nothing special about it, really. But, uh, I know there's always people out there looking for cheap bikes that work, so, there we go. It's a cheap bike that works. Technically, it, you could ride it now if you didn't mind um, having to physically push the brake lever back. So you pull it on and you just... You know, if you didn't mind having to do that, you could ride it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it apart from that, but... It would be something that would just get on my nerves eventually, so I will do that. I've got several spiders off of it, so there's several more little spiders running around in the flat somewhere. <laughs> Probably plenty still underneath this seat, actually. I think I'll go in the scrap, to be honest. Not a lot going for it, is the... It's rusty, it's... I know there's people out there that like the spring seats, but I think the chrome is far too gone on that. Uh, yeah, I don't want the seat clamp either. I'll put it in the bin for now, then I'll take it down and throw it on the trailer for scrap. Um, you know, we'll go around front and just pull the rear brake cable off of the little shop rope right front. Uh, as I was going to break it up anyway and scrap it, so I might as well half inch the rear brake cable, just in case the one I've got here doesn't fit in it long enough, you know. I'm going to put that on eBay. If you're wondering what it is, it's an indicator switch. I may just take that bit of steel wool to it, if I can remember where I threw it, and uh, just polish it up a little bit. Oops. Uh, that can go on eBay. Came off a Honda Camino, but I suppose you could put it on any old scooter or motorbike that you want to put indicators on. No, I don't think this sort of thing wouldn't have to go on a Camino, but if you're restoring. So it fully works. Good switch. Not broken, not damaged. Wires are in good condition. I'll go on eBay. I've got a few bits on eBay as it is. And if someone did say I should put the old indicators on as well, but the lenses are broken. I don't even think I've got all the lenses here anyway. So I don't really want to put... Well, I know the lenses can, or the actual um, light units themselves can be replaced. But, uh, that's not the point. I don't know, I might try them. Someone might buy them, buy some replacement lenses for them. That's the only one, that's a good one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the stems are a little rusty as well, but I suppose I could actually just take the light units off. Perhaps to sell a good one, you know. Perhaps someone is might be looking for just a single replacement. Who knows? Who knows? I can but try. You know, it's free listings up to 20 items, so... I can stay on the bollard like I wanted to. Anyway, I better get my ass into gear. And, uh, uh, I've got to put some air in the tyres as well. Good old foot pump. Good old vapor foot pump. So far, touch wood, I haven't twisted the framework of the um, foot pump or bent the um, piston rod. Because they're usually the two things I do with foot pumps, especially the cheap sort of 
three ninety nine ones you can get out of a lot of um hardware stores and whatnot. Had them before and I refused to buy them now because they don't last five minutes with me, but that driver one is pretty sturdy so far. Like I said, touch wood. I got in the wood. I don't want to talk it up. Because it's a lot easier than having to use a hand pump and it's a lot easier um than cycling across to the um petrol station and using their air pump, even though it's free air, but uh, there's no guarantee it's going to be working when I go over there. It does have a habit of going out of order. I don't know if it's just because things break on it through use, because it is used uh, pretty frequently, because it is the only one in town. It didn't used to be, but it is now. So, the world and his wife in this town tends to uh, use that air compressor a lot. You're not actually supposed to use it on bicycles, according to the little sign on it, but I've never been told of. I'm not actually sure why, because, you know, you know what you do, and then you set your pressures before, because you can usually go up to, on a lot of mountain bike tires, you can go up to about 40 PSI, 55 PSI, something like that. But it will always tell you on the tyre anyway, somewhere, the maximum PSI. I usually go to 38.40, is, um, well actually most of the time I stick to 38, I don't know why, I just think that's a good pressure personally. It's not too hard, not too soft. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to disappear again. Actually, in fact, no, I will disappear again, and I will turn the camera back on later, so, um, not half an hour. Well, this will be the last segment, I expect. Um, I've been downstairs. Magna is fully sorted. That's re ready to go. Pump the tyres up properly. Sort the rear brake cable out. Um, like I said, I just needed a bit of oil. I also adjusted the, um, brakes on the frame you get on some bikes you get like um, three different holes so I just pop the bolt out and put it on the top hole just gave it a bit more um, spring and that um, stopped the rear brake from sticking well, and I have also oiled the cable as well um, I have finally fitted the front mud guard to the Claude Butler I've made an adjustment to the steer tube um, so that steers a lot better and a lot smoother and there's not as much wobble. Um, I actually found out most of the wobble is coming from in here, so I'm guessing the forks are warm, but I want to change those in the future anyway, so I'm not too fussed about that for the time being. Uh, and I've sorted the rear brake out. In fact, I can skid on it now. I've had brand new pads. I've pinched a disc off one of the wheels for the Carrera I had sitting in here. Um, and I completely ripped the rear brake cable off while I was down there, oiled it up, used that brand new length of um, outer cable and replaced it all. And I've made a tiny bit of adjustment on one of the brake pads on the um, brake caliper. Reconnected it all and it's working a treat now. I can actually stop. <laughs> I think I'm there. Uh, I have, I, you know, I didn't really do any of the fine tuning on it sooner because, well, laziness really. I'm doing other things, but I thought as I'm doing the Magna while I'm down there, I might as well do that and get it over and done with. So, um, uh, well, until I find a new set of forks for it, um. Um, I'll do for the time being. Either white or black forks I want for it. Because um, the other issue is with the forks. Do these forks actually work? Yeah, they do. That's right then. <laughs> I don't even know if these forks work. I threw them in there and I never tested them. But, uh, yeah, they do work. A bit sticky when they go down, a bit jerky, but they do work. And that's, um, that's one of the issues with the other forks on my Claude Butler. I, um, sometimes they'll go down but they won't come all the way back up unless you um, sort of pull on the handlebars and then they'll come all the way up so 
I don't think I can take those ones apart to service them. I don't know about these ones, can I? No, I can't on these ones either unless there's a... There is a hole in the bottom here, so I don't know what the poker... Ah, the screw up. Plus I haven't got long enough to, or the correct screws to get right down here and pull it all apart anyway. I don't have that sort of tools. So, I as and when I come across another pair of forks, I'll um, put them in. So, all I've got to do now, aside from fixing that poxy puncture, it's a poxy puncture, well, actually, I do believe there's a wheel in my cupboard on the landing which has got a tire on, but I can't remember if I nicked the tube out of it already. I don't even know if it's punctured if it has got a tube in. I may just double check that before I get back into this. Uh, um, anyway, yeah. Um, cables I found, yeah, that's plenty long enough. <laughs> I think, if I remember rightly, and that actually came off of that um, petrol engine scooter, the petrol version of the electric one I took apart, as the um, rear brake cable. Um, I think that's what that one came off of. I could be wrong though. I know I kept one of the cables. It's far too long to be the front cable for it, but I know I kept it. That might, might have been what that other one was for. But yeah, that's perfectly long enough. I did have to uh, just snip the end down a bit. I need some cable ends. I need some things to bleed and sell first. Yeah, the Magnet, that was a lovely bike to ride. Brakes aren't, you know, they're not super duper sharp. You're not going to go flying over the handlebars or pull a skid, but they do work efficiently enough. Which actually I think is better because if you keep skidding you're just going to put a ball patch in your tyre then eventually you'll just go bang with your tyre. Been there, done that one in my younger days. I've got a friend who's still got a habit of doing that and skidding out tyres. It don't matter so much if you've got a tyre that's wearing down anyway, you might as well have a bit of fun with the tyre. But There's no way I'd do it on a brand new one. I came back to the PC. Oh, yeah, that's what I came back to. I put the uh, Magna up on the gum tree. So, let's check emails. Have I got anything? Oh, uh, yeah. No, just for someone for those lights which I've got to post. I've got items to post. I can't even do that yet. No, 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 no. I don't want to delete that. I am actually going to, if it fucking let me, come on, drag. Drop it into my keep me folder. That way I won't delete it again. I accidentally deleted the email with his address in the other day. <laughs> so I've only got three parcels to post. I can't even find the friggin' money for that. Uh, um, I will put the gent spike on eBay later. But, uh, still no interest in either. <coughs> These are what I've got to post to someone which I presume from his eBay username, Classic Trikes, he um, builds custom trikes. So, they'd be actually ideal for a truck, you know. You could put them whatever way around you want, really. Because you've even got the fog light feature on them. Fog light, brake light, uh, separate lights, tail light and turn signals. Should have kept them really, but oh well. Uh, so, yeah, I need to. Where's my doofy? My brake noodle. Brake noodle, oh, there it is. Brake noodle and rubber. There we go. Well, that's actually. I'm actually impressed with that. That's come up pretty nice. Sit, well, you remember what it was like when I first brought it up here, but now look at it. That'll do. So, really, the only thing that's going to be preventing this from being ridden is a flat tyre. I might just adjust the position of that seat. That's a bit too far forward, I think, for my liking. And it's about the right height for me. 
Yeah-ish. Might lower it just a little. Right. Now, if you're wondering why I leave the brake pads like that when I, um, one, fit the brake, and two, leave it open like that, it's because it's easier to start, for starters, to get this on and get the spring into position. Plus, I've actually found that if you leave the brake pad in the correct position like that, for long periods of time pressed against the frame, it will actually bend your brake pad. So I leave the brake pads exactly like that, then I can just come along with the um, 5mm hexagon key, which we'll find in a bit, line the brake pads up, making sure they're not too close to the tire, and I think that one might need to come down just a smidge. It does look like it's a little bit on my tire. I don't even know if I'm going to bother painting these, I might just leave them as they are. Might. Then again, everything else is nice and shiny. Oh yeah, I've got to roll that chain. Uh, I'll do that when I go downstairs, because otherwise oil will fly everywhere. So that's the one job I do not do up here. And I've only been doing the bikes up here because of the weather. It's a bit windy now, but... Did I turn the oven on? I would have turned the oven on so it would heat up. Oh yes I did, I can see the light from here. Dumbass. Uh, right. So, aside from doing these bikes today, I have done absolutely nothing else. Um, I'm not going to trim that down just yet. Because uh, I'll trim that off when I get the end cable ends. Because if not, the ends are just going to get caught and frayed. Then I won't get the bloody cable ends on. and I'll be a swearer of them, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Do something with this as well. It won't bend out the bloody way. Ah, there we go. That one should be all right there. That shouldn't get caught. The one on the rear, rear gears might. I should actually hike this upside down and uh, and uh, just check the gears up here. Well, I don't think I'm going to have much of an issue with that. May need some minor adjustment, but I don't think the front gears are going to be an issue. I don't think the rear gears will be much of an issue either. Okay. They finally arrived as well. Oh yeah, I'm going to take a photo of that thing and put on eBay. Indicate switch. There's two items to put on eBay this evening. That'll be a total of six items. And I may actually have to stick some items on that I do not really want to sell. I love to know how other people can claim things like ESA actually live and have all these fucking iPhones and things. So I can barely afford a pot to piss in. If it's not stupidly cheap or free, then I don't really bloody own it. <laughs> That's the main reason I don't have a PS4 or more consoles or anything like that. Cause I just don't have the cash to splash. Which isn't really a bad thing, because I'm not really a gamer anyway. I'm too old school, I like my uh, old consoles there. I wouldn't even have an iPhone anyway, they're not for me. I'm not going to say they're crap. Well, I would if I was in the mood to wind up iPhone fans, but <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> nah. Um, they're just iPhones aren't for me well smartphones aren't for me really in general I mean I've got that Samsung in the bedroom and it's still sitting in the bedroom with a dead battery I just don't use them no one phones it when it is on so 
So I just thought, well, what's the bloody point of charging the thing up if no one rings it? I just left it. Anyone that wants me rings the landline. Because nine times out of ten I'm at home anyway. So, I don't really see the point. If I was going to be out all the time, like I would have been sure, a couple of years ago, way before one of my best friends went self-employed, because he's self-employed now, I barely see him, plus he's got his girlfriend now, and you know, that's the way things go, so he doesn't get to hang out like we used to. So, yeah, unless I'm at mum's or out in town, then I'm here. <laughs> most of the time until I find a friggin job a job with computers would be nice either computers or bikes, that's what I would like I'd go self-employed but you know street shops aren't really um, well especially in this town they're not really uh, thriving anymore, not with um, internet shopping and whatnot. And that's where I got most of the parts from, from my own Claude Butler. I didn't use Wilco's. I probably could have. Or the nearest cycle shop, which is in Chroma, and ordered the parts that way, but thanks to internet shopping, you know, I could easily go online. Could have ordered them from any um, bicycle website, as well as loads of shops that have their own websites that you can order stuff from and whatnot. So, <laughs> I, even in this town, I don't think, you know, I could um, make a cycle shop work. It would be nice. Don't get me wrong, it would be very nice. <laughs> but, yeah. I wouldn't mind trying, so, you know, so I could at least turn around and say, yep, I gave it a go. It didn't work, but now I know. You know it's better than not doing it and not knowing what might have been, so if you catch my drift. Better to do and find out than not do and not know. Let's see if we can work that one out. <laughs> but, uh, for now, I'll stick to this as a hobby. My litter picker, or one of my litter pickers. Uh, yeah. My area might not be the best on the planet, but it's still the town I grew up in. And there's no harm in doing a little, a little bit, a little bit of litter picking around the area. No. Makes me laugh because there's a, a bin right through there you know that actually looks like a complete different angle through the camera lens the gap is in that tree you see if I actually take my eyes off the camera and look down the um, litter picker it's actually pointing at the green building <laughs> two different angles yeah and there's also another bin down that end of the block but people still drop litter. All they've got to do is cross a fucking road to put it in the bin. Lazy bastards. She, even my mum brought me up better than that. She always brought me up, you know, and always told me to put litter in our pockets and take it home, never to drop it. We'd get a clip across the lug and told to pick it up if we did drop it. <laughs> Well, actually, I don't think we got a clip across the lug. I think we were just told to pick it up if we did drop it. And we did. Back when I was a wee boy. You know, when you start saying things like that when you're 31, it does make you feel old. When I was little... <laughs> when I was... I've even done that to kids my youngest brother's age, you know. He's um, 17 now. Actually, I remember when he was a lot younger than that, I used to say things like, when I was your age, <laughs> I'm thinking, bloody hell, am I that old? <coughs> Whew. 
Well, I suppose at least I've got stories to tell. Anyway, nature is calling, so I'm going to go and do that. Get some dinner on, and uh, hopefully get that finished. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video.